Hello everyone, my name is Wei, and today I will be sharing with you the 8 rules that I am following to reach financial freedom. Feel free to adopt or modify these rules to suit your personal needs. Alright, rule number 1. Always have a source of income. This rule is obvious because having a source of income gives you the flexibility to seize opportunities. There are so many ways to generate income. For example, if you have a great idea, you can work on it and pitch it to investors for funding. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have financial backing, you can start accumulating income generating assets, such as real estate properties or dividend paying businesses. Since most of us do not have significant wealth to leverage off, the only asset we can leverage off is time. I am currently working as an engineer in the past, I had worked as a busboy, a waiter, an office assistant, and other odd job titles where I traded my time for money. Rule number one is so important because it sets the foundation for the rest of the rules. Rule number two, always save a portion of income. This is basically the phrase, pay yourself first. I have been pulling away a portion of my income each month since I started working. Following this rule allows me to buy income generating assets and to pay for things that matters to me, such as education and life experiences. Here is a simple example. If you put away $100 each month, you will have a linear growth resulting in $1200 in a year. This linear growth isn't impressive, but applying this to rule number one to build income generating assets, those assets will grow exponentially due to compound effect. Alright, rule number three, only spend on things that create lasting happiness. I used to eat out all the time just because I could afford it. I did not care what I put into my mouth. So not only did I spend on unnecessary calories, I was unhappy because my doctor told me that I have pre-diabetes. The same concept applies to fancy and fast cars. They can only provide temporary thrills and boost ego but they are more likely going to increase the maintenance cost, chance of getting speeding tickets, and severity of accidents. And same goes for lavish homes. Having a house with significant unused space is a huge waste, especially if that space cannot generate income. They are nice to have items, but they are unnecessary. This rule allows more money to be channeled towards saving, and gives the flexibility to do other memorable things, such as celebrating something important, buying gifts for loved ones, and building lasting memories and relationships, which is significantly more valuable than having fast cars and fancy homes. Rule number four, investing in what is known. This rule basically reminds me to perform due diligence in all my investments to increase the odds of successful outcome. In the past, I've invested in stocks that I had no idea what the business does or even the name of the company other than its ticker symbol. I've gotten fixer-ups contract ratified without knowing the renovation work involved with the property. And I've invested in startup ideas that even the members have not fully flushed out the idea. I've learned that investing without knowing creates no actual value because when I make money from such investments, I usually don't learn anything. And when I lose money, I always end up blaming myself for not performing the due diligence. This rule also applies to timing the market. There are people that have gotten out of 2000.com bubble and have not returned. And people that have been holding on to cash since 2013 waiting for the crash and missed multiple years of bull market. Since we do not know when the next financial crisis will come, the approach I am taking is to invest in business that I know will survive a correction, diversify across different assets, and invest such that I can sleep at night. Alright, rule number five, avoid risky investment temptation. This should go together with rule number four, but I had to create this rule separately to emphasize the importance of avoiding unnecessary risks. I am sure a lot of people have toyed with the thought of betting a huge sum of money into a binary event and hope to double, triple, or even many times their bet. We've all experienced this get-rich-quick mentality. 
I am not saying there aren't get-rich-quick opportunities out there. What I am saying is that if the investor cannot spot the opportunity using what is known, chances are there is a missing piece of the puzzle that would likely result in significant loss in investment. Instead of focusing on the return, focus on the business and what is known, and decide if there is truly an opportunity. Rule number six, manage debt and keep it under control. I don't think debts are bad, but it should only be used on necessities or assets that can generate more income. Only use disposable income on luxury goods. I manage debt such that I know I have the means to repay through savings or current income. Here are some debts I have and will likely continue to take advantage of in the future. Mortgage, if condition is correct. Car loans for transportation cars only. And credit cards to build credit score. And don't take emotional debts lightly. If you feel like you owe someone something, even if that someone does not know about it, do something to repay that debt, because guilt will eat a person up inside. Rule number seven: Protect future income. Because our body is the primary asset to generate future income, it is important to take care of the body through healthy diet, exercise. Routine examination and insurance. I currently do low carb diet, exercise at least five days a week, doing both strength and cardio exercises. I do my yearly examination that is covered under my insurance. I also have life insurance in case something happens to me and my family needs my income. Other ways to protect future income is to have dividend-paying assets. Where each month or quarter pays some amount that can be used on other expenses. And finally, rule number eight: be a lifelong learner. This rule starts with self-discovery. It becomes easier over time. Self-discovery is a journey to find your passion, your motivation, and goals in life. Once you have those, learning becomes so much easier. I went to college because everyone was doing it. My major was undecided for two years, where I thought about doing math and physics, social work, and eventually switched to biochemistry, and then finally settled with electrical engineering. Through all the switching and experimenting, I got to know myself better. I learned about finance and investment outside of school. Everything I've learned built on top of each other. And learning becomes fun when you can piece together the puzzles with past experiences to discover new concepts. Those are the eight rules that I am currently following to reach my financial success. I hope you learn something from this. Add, modify, or eliminate as you please to create your own set of rules. Follow them with conviction. Let it become your principle, and live a happy and successful life. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe for more.